We have the ASICS Gel Light 3, one of the most iconic sneakers of all time. Totally unique. Love the sneaker. 30th anniversary. So nice. We did it twice. Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? My name is Sean. Thanks for being here. The ASICS Gel Light 3, the AGL 3s, my friends. First question to you guys. Do you own a pair of ASICS Gel Light 3s? Do you own a pair of ASICS sneakers? Any model for that matter. Yeah, got you thinking, right? If you live in the Philippines, chances are um, you don't. Well, there's many of you who own ASICS sneakers. Of course, I get that. But um, ASICS is not that big of a brand yet in the country. It's, it still is in that um, cult following situation, if you know what I mean. It's, it's presence, it's distribution. Um, I know of uh, certain retailers that do carry the ASICS line. You have Sneak Peek, uh, I believe Capital has it. Soul Academy drops uh, ASICS models um, every now and then. Um, there's, uh, I remember Urban Athletics at Glorieta. I haven't been in forever, so uh, I'm not sure about the situation today, but uh, Urban Athletics does carry ASICS. But um, the, we, we don't get the variety that we deserve. I guess, and it's it's a good um, uh, leapfrog moment, I guess, for ASICS. Uh, last year, or maybe that was late 2018, when they opened a an, an actual ASICS performance store in ATC, right? There's one in uh, Greenbelt. Uh, I don't know if that's still open, but uh, what I'm saying is um, they have to establish a footprint by having stores and having events and stuff like that and that uh, ASICS hasn't been uh, you know it hasn't been the go-to brand for us here in the country when it comes to casual sneakers we have Onitsuka Tiger same company but that's a totally different line that's their casual line it's rooted in performance but they're a casual uh, sneaker line these days so th that's different but ASICS the brand is trying to make a comeback and making a comeback this year is the ASICS Gel Light 3. This is the OG. We are celebrating its 30th anniversary. These came out in 1990. And uh, it's one of the most iconic sneakers of all time. Why? Look at the split tongue. See that? Where else do you see a split tongue on a sneaker? This is trademark. This is proprietary. Nobody else is allowed to do a split tongue and I've been thinking about sneakers that have split tongues and uh, I can't think of any you know maybe maybe you know of knockoffs maybe you know of brands that do split tongues um, let me know it would, would be interesting to check that sneaker out but as far as I know only the A6 Gel Light 3 has a split tongue it's ridiculous I've never owned a Gel Light 3 before so it would be interesting to throw these on feet and uh, walk in them and probably run in them People forget that um, this is still rooted in performance. This was designed in 1990 as a running sneaker. So a Japanese guy by the name of Shigeyuki Mitsui designed the sneaker in 1990. Yes, exactly 30 years ago. And his, uh, his design, his split tongue design was uh, met with opposition. No surprise to that. Um, the bosses said that we are a running performance sneaker company before we are a fashion sneaker company because you know he, he's proposing something that hasn't been done or tested and um, this is more aesthetic than anything else according to the bosses but eventually mr uh, shigeyuki mitsui got his way and the rest as they say is history okay so split tongue man so you, you have to wonder about the containment i haven't run in these i've never owned a gel i3 as i said but i've read reviews I've seen some videos over the last, I would say, several years. These have been around forever, and uh, I, I've been a sneaker enthusiast ever since I can remember. And um, I've read the articles, I've watched the videos, and those who run in the Gel Light 3 swear by its performance. You know, containment is not a problem at all. And uh, I find that hard to believe, uh, but I'll go what they say, you know. Um, am I going to run in these? probably will just to get a kick out of it and just to really find out if what they say is true but um yeah it's got a traditional lacing system right it's got to hold your foot in place i i wonder about um lateral movements though but they're made for running and you go forward or you go backward and that's it so i guess it does the job 
So this is the 30th anniversary release, right? And uh, they're a little different from uh, the Asics Gelite 3s that we've become used to over the last several years. Uh, this is made in the original mold. Uh, they used um, the, they claim that they used the lasts from 1990. The lasts are those wooden or metal molds where they shape the sneaker. And uh, they, they used the original ones. And this time they said that they put a little more toe space, right? Because one of the, uh, one of the rants on the sneaker is that it ran a little too narrow. So I'm guess, I guess they're correcting that by bringing it back to its original form. They used the OG last and they put a little more room on the forefoot. So I don't know, I don't have a frame of reference. It's a shame that I don't have any other Gelite 3 to compare these sneakers to, but hey, these look good. Um, it definitely has a retro feel. You've seen the other Gel Light 3s, uh, different materials, different colorways, and they do look like uh, modern, avant-garde, Cosmo sneakers, right? Uh, but, but these ones, in these colorways, this by the way is the flash coral colorway, and this is the white, yellow, green colorway. These look like runners from the 90s, right? Bright colors, you can jog with them at night and you're not gonna get hit by a bus. So it's got the retro feel. Check out the midsole, guys. Right? The A6 Gel i3 is known for two things, two major things. Number one would be the split tongue, which we've already covered in length. And number two is the midsole technology because they used a tri-density foam for the midsole. Yep, three different kinds of foam densities, varying densities. It seems to be a thing with sneaker companies, you know, the more the more densities, the more varied the foam, the better it seems, right? You, you, remember, you remember Nike and their dual fusion foam technology, you know, New Balance has Absorb, which has two types of uh, foam compounds with, with varying densities. But with the Gel i3, guess what? We have three, right? Three foam densities in one cushioning system, you know, it aids in impact protection and energy return. So you could run in them. Let's not forget that this is still a performance sneaker, uh, but you could definitely just walk in them and just flex and, you know. So we're gonna do a final go through of the sneaker and I wanna show you the materials used on the upper. Okay, we have Nubuck, we have mesh, there's also suede, we have this some kind of textured leather for the logo. There's plastic components for the eyelets. There's fabric, of course, and uh, we're not gonna miss this webbing, this underlay, this net thing that looks like an Air Jordan 4 netting. We also have that same netting on the heel. Okay, really interesting. There's 3M reflective material as well. We have foam and we have a rubber outsole. Fantastic, man. There you have it, guys. The Asics Gel Light 3, love the sneaker. The OG is back. 30 years, 30th anniversary AGL3. What do you guys think of the sneaker? Let me know in the comments, okay? Don't forget, we have a giveaway. I'm gonna put the mechanics out in the description. They're super simple. Good luck to everyone. You guys be safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.